Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science. I hope you're enjoying the videos. And before I start exercise, please subscribe on the channel, like this video, and share with your classmates. Now, let's go for our solution step by step. Determine the largest weight of the oil drum that the floor king can support without overturning. Also, what are the vertical reactions at the smooth wheels A, B, and C for this case? The floor crane has a weight of 300 pounds with its center of gravity located at G. So, before we start finding our reactions, I'm gonna name two important points. Here, we're gonna be our point E, and here, it's our here is our point D where is I gonna concentrate the weight of the oil drum now I'm gonna put here our points so our point E is six zero and zero and our point D is equal ten cosine 30 degrees in X direction. In our J direction, we have zero. So zero for our Y direction. And for our Z direction, we have 4.5 plus 10 sine of 30 degrees. So our point D is equal to 8.660 and 9.5 okay and now we know that to find the maximum weight we know the normal in C is equal to 0 where our crane is to virtually 0 reaction at that point now we're going to find the distance between our points a b g and d to our point e so first we're going to find our distance a e that is equal 0 minus 2.5 and 0 to find our distance b E is equal to 0, 2.5, and 0. To find our distance D, E is equal to 10 cosine 30, that's 8.66 minus 6, 0, and 9.5 minus 0. And finally, our point G, E, we have 2 minus 6, 0, and 1.5. So here we have all distance from our important points to the point E. Now we're going to do moment is equal to the cross product of the distance and the force. Here we start with the matrix for reaction A, so force A, we have I, J, and K, and we have 0, minus 2.5, and 0, and we have 0, 0, and our normal A. So I'm going to solve this matrix. And then I'm going to find. So here, our moment so far is minus 2.5 and A in I direction, 0, 0. And here we have 0, 0, and 0. So this is our moment. Now, we're going to keep finding our determinant coming from the matrix. So we're just going to build our matrix now for force P, so 0, 
2.5 and 0. And here we have 0, 0, and normal B. If we solve this determinant, we're going to end with 2.5 normal B in I direction as well. Now, for the force D, that's our oil drum. So we have I, J, and K. The distance that we found in the previous slide is 2.66. And then we have 0, 9.5. And the weight, 0, 0. And then I'm going to put minus because it's pointing down and the weight. So if we solve this, we're going to have 2.66 the weight in J direction. And finally, for our weight of the crane, we have I, J, K. Our distance is minus 4, 0, 1.5, 0 is 0, and minus 300 pounds. So here we have minus 1,200 in J direction. Now, we can easily use the sum of moments in J is equal to 0. And then we're going to find 2.66 times the weight of the drum minus 1,200 is equal to zero. So we have weight is equal to 451.12 pounds. Use our three six figures is 451 pounds. So we discover our weight. Now we're going to do the sum of moments in I direction is equal to zero. We have minus 2.5 normal A plus 2.5 normal B is equal to zero. And then we have normal A is equal to normal B. Now we can use the sum of forces in Z direction is equal to zero. So we have normal A plus normal B, we saw that for a maximum weight, the normal C is zero, minus 300 pounds, the weight of the crane, minus 451 pounds for the weight of the oil drum is equal to zero. So we have the two times normal A or normal B is equal 751, so our normal weight is equal to normal B, is equal to 375.6 pounds. Using our three sig figures, we have that an A is equal to N B, is equal to 376 pounds. Thanks for watching until the end. Don't forget to subscribe on the channel and like this video. Thank you.